Okay. Um, if you have any questions about the presentments, um, we'll be happy to answer after the uh, conclusion of Jeff's remarks. Thanks. Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Berman, United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Today, we unseal an indictment charging Lev Parnas, Igor Fruman, and two co defendants for their alleged participation in schemes to violate the federal campaign finance laws by repeatedly using straw donors and foreign money. Parnas and Fruman were arrested around 6 p.m. last night at Dulles Airport as they were about to board an international flight with one-way tickets. As alleged in the indictment, the defendants broke the law to gain political influence while avoiding disclosure of who was actually making the donations and where the money was coming from. They sought political influence not only to advance their own financial interests, but to advance the political interests of at least one foreign official, a Ukrainian government official who sought the dismissal of the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. And with respect to that last allegation, let me take you through some of the money flow. Parnas and Fruman contributed $325,000 to Committee 1. Now, this contribution was not made in their name. It was made in the name of a corporation that they set up, GEP, in order to hide that the true individuals behind the donation were Parnas and Fruman. The $325,000 was one of the largest donations that Committee 1 received. And we, uh, in the indictment, we indicated and alleged that this was an illegal straw donor scheme. In addition, Parnas and Fruman made direct contributions to Congressman One. And these contributions, direct and promised, totaled over $20,000. Moreover, Committee One spent approximately $3 million to benefit Congressman One. Now, as a result, Parnas and Fruman had several meetings with Congressman One, and at these meetings, Parnas, on behalf of a Ukrainian government official, lobbied Congressman One to advocate for the removal of the then U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. Protecting the integrity of our elections and protecting our elections from unlawful foreign influence are core functions of our campaign finance laws. And as this office has made clear, we will not hesitate to investigate and prosecute those who engage in criminal conduct that draws into question the integrity of our political process. And I want to add that this investigation is continuing. Now, I want to acknowledge and thank our wonderful AUSAs who worked on prosecuting and investigating this case and will continue to investigate this case to my right 
is Rebecca Donaleski. And someone who would ordinarily be to her right, uh, Nick Rose, uh, could not be here today because he is in the Eastern District of Virginia assisting with the presentment of Parnas and Fruman. But to Rebecca's right is Russ Capone and Edward Discant, and they are our uh, marvelous co-chiefs of our public corruption unit. And I also want to thank our partner in this case and so many of our important cases, uh, the New York office of the FBI, represented to here today. To my left, Bill Sweeney, my good friend, the assistant director in charge of the New York field office. To his left, Mike Driscoll, the special agent in charge of the criminal division. And to his left, uh, George Kazami, the special agent in charge of public corruption at the FBI. And now I'd like to invite to the podium uh, my very good friend, uh, Bill Sweeney, for any comments you'd like to make. Thanks, Jeff. Last night at a Washington Dulles International Airport, the FBI arrested Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman on campaign finance-related charges as they attempted to leave the United States. Andre Kukushkin was arrested in San Francisco shortly thereafter. David Correa, the fourth individual charged in today's indictment, is not yet in our custody. Campaign finance, finance laws exist for a reason. The American people expect and deserve an election process that has not been corrupted by the influence of foreign interests, and the public has a right to know the true source of campaign contributions. Laws make up the fabric of who we are as a nation. These allegations are not about some technicality, a civil violation, or an error on a form. This investigation is about corrupt behavior, deliberate law breaking. The FBI takes the obligation to tackle corruption seriously. There are no exceptions to this rule. We gather evidence, we collect facts, and we will act on them when appropriate. As Jeff mentioned, our investigation will continue. Many thanks always to Jeff and your team of prosecutors here at the Southern District. Thank you as well to our FBI personnel and our offices in Miami, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. And of course, thanks, Mike and George, to your team and the team of agents and professionals who uh, are quiet professionals and solid public servants here in the New York office. Thank you. Thank you.